getting enough water to these scorched inland vineyards takes an enormous amount of irrigation. Some people joke that Australian winemakers farm water rather than grapes, but there is another way. These vines only get the water that the sky gives them. It's called dry farming. Ron Lawton came to Heathcote over 30 years ago and wanted to make wine differently. And now his daughter Emily also makes wine the same natural way. Their winery is Jasper Hill and it's won all sorts of awards for its eco methods. It is biodynamic, beyond organic if you like, and it is a dry farm in a scorched country. We originally found the place because I wanted to grow Shiraz and, uh, and I wanted to do it in a place with without irrigation. Travelling through here, I could see that just this little part of this valley here in Victoria, there was something special about it. And it had been planted by a local uh, Heathcoteian. But uh, when I asked what variety it was, he said he uh, couldn't remember its name. He thought it started with an S and finished with a Z. So I said Shiraz, said, that's it. <laughs> and, uh, and virtually uh, we purchased it on the spot. You might think that um, a vineyard is actually a very natural environment, but it, it isn't. It's a monoculture that's been planted by, by people. You have to put pesticides, you have to fertilise it, you have to look after it. It's a bit like an open industrial plant. So when you do it the way these guys do, then it comes back to becoming a, a natural environment, which is very unusual. Unfortunately, the norm across Australia is, is thou shalt irrigate, thou shalt put nasty chemicals on your whatever agriculture it is. You just plant it, left, leave it to its own device, and if it dies, it dies. If it survives, it survives, and it's meant yeah. to be here. That's exactly. Right. It's a yeah. That's a great philosophy. Yeah. I think that as a wine drinker, you should know whether your wine comes from a dry farmed vineyard or an irrigated vineyard. And I think we should have it on the label so that people know exactly what they're drinking. So. How does wine taste when only nature grows the grapes and nothing is added but a barrel? Let's try this baby then. It's called Emily's Paddock in Emily's honour. If you are going to go and have a, you know, a big wine, a powerful wine, have something like this because you can taste the concentration of the vines, you can taste that it's non-irrigated, you can taste it's all little berries, lots of sunshine, great, great winemaking. It's full of layers, it's extremely complex and it's the full experience. Why would you have instant gravy or granule gravy when you can have the real McCoy? 